working on right now. I'm working on a movie that's uh, currently in a director's cut stage. I wanted to bring the material, but because the producers haven't even seen it yet, it's unfair and probably illegal for me to show it in this environment. But just to give an example of what we were doing, um, we have a scene recorded inside um, military Humvees, and it was a practical shoot. So we're driving in these cars and and we've got actors trying to talk to each other and because we're trying to tell a story you want to hear those words you listen to the boom <laughs> it's terrible even the laughs you get nothing but just engine noise all over it and that's that's something that yeah okay you can go ahead and put like a multi-band compressor down on the bottom end compress it down and turn it down or do something to get rid of that noise but if it's something like a car engine that's varying over time you're going to be chasing that the entire time what am i going to do put a dip filter at 300 hertz 320 310 305 my ears aren't that good anyway so i'm not going to be able to get that precise so what the guys over at isotope have given us this is a short, they, they haven't given us this short film. <laughs> um, this is a short film that I did for a friend with, uh, I think she recorded it on her iPhone or something. It was just the worst, it was really bad production sound. Um, film was great, enjoyed the, the project, but it was just a little bit want for noise. Let me just make sure that where we are going out, yep. This is interior, by the way. Oh, I love how you even play this game. The New York Times has games now? All right. And, and it was kind of rough to try to just put that through a standard denoise type plugin. Also, one other aspect of it, too. Um, it's a short film, so she, I think she shot it in her house or her friend's house, who had an old a vintage refrigerator that has squeaky parts. <laughs> but it's vintage! So... In addition to having really bad sound, oh look, there it is, right there. There's there's the squeaky fridge. So let's find all the squeaky fridges, and let's go ahead and get rid of the squeaky fridges first off. Boom. Okay, squeaky fridges are gone. Now let's work on getting some of this noise dealt with. The problem with this noise, though, is it's very broadband, and if I just put like a standard noise suppressor on this, it's gonna kind of gink me. Um, gank being a very, very scientific term, meaning to screw you up. Um, now, a couple things I just want to point out while we're looking, going back to the idea of the spectrogram being a great way to know what your audio is doing. First off, I can tell you we've got a gnarly hum happening somewhere. And if we look at this right there, that's a big nasty hum where I've selected in. And what I'd love to do is get rid of that. Let's just get rid of it to start out with, right? I just want to do that. Um, we have our new cool RX6 feature of showing us what frequency that is, but and it, my pen's very precise, but I can't tell. Is it 611.2 or is it 613.1? I can't tell. Okay, so let's do this instead. What we have is a really handy tool that I use constantly, even if I'm not rendering anything in RX. We have a spectrum analyzer that will tell you the frequency content of what you've selected. And the most prominent, loudest thing right there has a little hump. So I go to where the hump is, and I see that that's 644.6 hertz. So now I can go over to my de-hum tool. Pardon me. My de-hum tool. I'm going to go ahead, go to free, go to 666. Was it 6? Thank you. <laughs> what I got? 643? Thank you. Uh, and... I'm going to go ahead and make my cue. Let's just start off with the default. But you also see there's some other things going on, which is RX built this, uh, Isotope built this originally to get rid of like power hum, and they want to get rid of the harmonics within it. So it's trying to put eight levels of harmonics. I don't want that. So I get down to just the fundamental. And now I'd like the gain to be minus 80 because I want to get rid of all of it. And as I hit process, you will now see that line is gone. And a way that I find, um, who, uh, any sound effects editors in the room? Okay, one. Uh, anyway, <laughs> um, check out the, there. A lot of us all use the Soundstorm library. We got it from Sound Dogs, right? Uh, I'd love to know the derivation of this, but somehow almost every and it's not because there's a television in the room, but almost every one of those sound effects has a hum at, at fifteen thousand seven hundred and thirty-five hertz. Not that I've brought those out before. The bummer about that with sound effects, though, is 
okay, go ahead and lower that by an octave, and now you've got gnarly aliasing. And I like to call myself Jason King, human ali anti-aliasing computer, and I'll get rid of those hums in RX, send it back, or even do the pitch shifting within here, and you don't get that aliasing. It's really, really powerful. I love that. And for dialogue, what I might do is find what that fundamental frequency is, and then go dial it in in my dip filters over in my dialogue. But now, going back to the noise, not just the hum in this, but I want to get rid of this noise, and let's think about being in a car with a really, really, really loud amount of noise. We have a new great module that I'm just digging called Dialogue Isolate. Somehow they've figured out, like I think Dolby has a similar kind of a thing, dialogue, like dialogue intelligence, they know, computers know what dialogue is. They know that it is somewhat different than noise. And what we can tell this to do is to separate the dialogue components of this sound from the noise components of this sound. So just playing, uh, again, I'm a knob and slider guy, so I figured out that having a separation strength 7.5-ish, let's give it a 7.5, and, and let's get rid of the noise down to, let's go minus 10. Nah, we're crazy. It's Thursday. Let's go to minus 12. Let's play it. I'm just going to play it for you once so you hear the sound, the noise as it was. Oh, that was a loop. There we go. To fall in love with how you even play this game. The New York Times has games now. All right. So just tons of noise, right? Tons of noise. Now, oh, cancel. Now let's go ahead and process it. And we'll see the dialogue, which you can see right on the screen right in here. It's going to jump out from our noise. It takes just a little bit. And look at all that noise gone. There's still fall a in love with how you even play this game. The New York Times. And that was just that was just one little quick quick little click too. The it's a pretty computery uh, specific process, so I don't think it's running in real time yet. It would be I'm, I'm assuming as we get bigger and better computers, maybe at some point it'll run in real time. But for right now, it's running like that. And uh, in this interior Humvee scene, lines that there was no way you're ever going to be able to hear them. It totally saved it, and I couldn't. I've got a Cedar, I've got WNA, I've got Williams noise suppressor. I have all those tools available to me. They couldn't do the same kind of thing, and it was one click, boom, d done. RX. I try to think of the sound as an onion, and I'm not trying to go into some weird esoteric acting class, but let's take, <laughs> let's take layers off of that onion. If you just like rip the whole thing apart, you're left with nothing. But if you slowly start peeling away those layers of the onion, you're going to get to the good part of it, which is hopefully some nice, uh, I don't know, French onion soup or something like that. But let's get back. We're getting back to our noise. Um, once we find all this stuff out, we love the noise. We were going to try to see what the, um, the most we can do. Let's just get it down to as much as we can. Let's go to infinity. Why not? We're all hanging out. So let's see what we can do by getting the sliders at their, their best. Here we go. Oh, that's a little, that's a little harsh, but let's see what happened. To fall in love with how you even play this game. The New York Times has games now. All right. There's, it's a little artifacty, but throw some backgrounds in there and you're singing, Hi. man. And then there's the off stage. Hello. Oh, hey. Didn't like that. But the, it's not terribly artifacty. You know, all we did was just push the sliders up to maximum. And another way that that could be fun is, and I used this a little bit earlier, uh, shot of a guy doing movement he's got like a, a bandage and he's trying to take the bandage out of the package and i've got no foley we're just doing director's cut stuff right now i can't hire a foley team and main actors talking on top of that stuff this is dialogue isolate right well the noise goes to the top and the noise the dialogue does go down so you, maybe you don't want to isolate the dialogue maybe you want to isolate the noise so what i was able to do was get rid of that isolated dialogue from the one that was taking out the the bandage. So if we played with that in here, we would see that the, the noise is going to stay there, but her voice is going to start going away because maybe you're going to want to do something like that. Exactly why, I have no idea, but every ev everything... <laughs> A little bit of artifacty right there, but... But pretty darn close, man.